We're going to do a push cut this way. That bevel, that bevel does two things. It tells you in which direction you're cutting and controls the tool. So we want to make a parallel cut across here. All the way across. Yes, yeah, so that cutting edge has to be parallel. If we had the tool here, the bevel's pointing through there and it would want to cut through there. So wherever that part is pointing, that flat bit, Make, oh. So if we Stop. want a parallel, that cut should be a so flow. this is what parallel. That's okay. right. Okay. So switch this on. I started turning wood, oh, 30 years ago. And then like a lot of people in my line of work, I started moving around. Well, you know, when you're moving and your employer limits how much household goods you can take, how much weight you can take, you just don't take some of this heavy, heavy woodworking equipment with you. So I stopped wood turning. And I haven't, I haven't done serious woodwork in 30 years. This wood cuts like butter. It is so nice. This is my bowl number two. It is from an extremely beautiful boxwood. And as my instructor said, it slices like butter. Well, I got news for you. It's a little tougher than that. Right, we make sure the tool's on the tool rest first. If you have it in the air and it touches the wood, it'll bang it, bang it down. So this is my bowl and it's not exactly done. The inside is yet a little bit thick. So we will finish it later this week. And this is my bowl that is almost totally on my wood own. And it's called something that sounds like zebra. It's some zim zimbries or, or something. This is hard wood to work. It fragments easy, it's got lots of splinters in it, it's tough, but again, I've got it halfway done. I will finish it tomorrow, if I'm real lucky. <laughs>